first thing I notice with a question like this is we have a choice with a period. Periods are very easy punctuation marks. It's basically just one rule. You need a sentence on either side. So because that rule is so straightforward, that's the first thing I want to test. I'm not going to worry about these commas and the conjunction and. Let's look for sentences. So let's start here where the kind of sentence starts. Uh, the chemical whatever counters this effect, ensuring the proteins retain their original configurations. Yeah, that sounds like a sentence. Specifically, it's this part. The chemical trimethylamine and oxide counters this effect. So TMAO counters this effect. That's the sentence. The extra part at the end with that comma is a, just an extra clause that is giving us some description. So we've got one sentence. Let's look for another. Uh, TMAO is found in high concentrations in the cells of the deepest dwelling fish. Yeah, that's also a sentence. That sounds good. So check, check, two sentences. No doubt, we need a period. So why are the other choices wrong? Well, we definitely need some sort of uh, punctuation. The comma by itself is not strong enough to join two sentences. We can use it to join a clause to a sentence, but to join two complete sentences is not, a, is not a good enough by itself. It needs the help of a conjunction like and. But notice that's the problem with D. It's the and, the conjunction, but no comma. So if we could merge C and D together, then we'd have the comma and the conjunction, and then that would be another way to join a sentence. But then we couldn't have this question, because then you'd have two answers that are right. So that's what they're going to do here, is they're going to give you ways of like getting close to joining the sentences, but not fully getting there and committing. So uh, none of that mattered to me, because the period has the set rule, and that's the one I started with. Then if it passes the test, you just pick the period.